morning, Jace. How's your morning coffee? Great. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So, anything on the agenda for the school day today that I should know about? Well, first most, we'll be having a fire drill at 9 a.m. And second, today's head checkup day. It's where our school nurse checks all students' heads to see if they have like lice or any some sort. Sounds good. And let's hope things will be smooth sailing today, especially without Keisha or Regina around now. Feels kind of strange, but I'm really over it. Me too. And I think the other students are over it as well. Today is our fire drill for the upcoming spring season. But while we're standing outside, waiting for the all-clear announcement, I noticed Christina scratching her head constantly. Hey Mimi, Christina Gibson just scratched her head. Not like in a confused manner, but rather in a I can't stop scratching kind of manner. Oh that's not good. Miss Gibson, you okay? You seem to be scratching your head constantly. No. I've been scratching my head constantly. Like, since last night. I thought it was just a small itch that would go away, but this morning it seems to have gotten worse. I'm getting really worried. Let me check your head. Oh dear. What is it Principal Moonlight? Well it seems that you have... Lice. Wait, lice? Oh no. I knew Christina would have lice heads. I know one thing for certain. We're gonna have to call her parents about this, and take her home so she cannot spread any more lice. Oh man. I remembered having lice when I was younger. Well since today's head checkup day, looks like we're gonna have to call your parents about this. Am I in trouble? I didn't even know I had lice in my hair. No you're not in trouble sweetheart. We just don't want you to have other students catch it. Ah, right. You know, I remember having lice while I was swimming. And my mom put olive oil in my hair instead of lice shampoo. And did that work? Yes. I see. Then I'll have to recommend that to your parents, Miss Gibson. I think that's a great idea. We'll see if it works. We are so sorry, Principal Moonlight and Vice Principal Hubbard. We had no idea Christina had lice in her hair. It's quite all right, Mr. and Mrs. Gibson. And I do have an idea to the lice problem. How about you try and put olive oil in Christina's head? Because one of my students had that experience before. And it seemed to work. Olive oil? We should try that. Yes, agreed. We'll have to send Christina home right away to prevent other students from also catching lice. But before we send you off, do you two have any idea how she could have caught it? Good question, Jace. Miss Gibson, think it through. How did you catch it? Oh, I think I remember now. I remember going swimming at Tyndall Tide last week. You see. I ran into some girl who's black, my age, and she has pink hair. I saw her scratching her head and she dried her hair with a towel. I was just enjoying myself and all of a sudden, she covered my whole head and face with a towel she dried her hair with, and she ran off. And then in the middle of the night last night, my head started to itch so badly. So you see, that's how I caught having lice. Wow. I can't believe that happened. That black female with a pink hair wouldn't happen to be... Stacy Mitchell. Mitchell. Stacy Mitchell, Mitchell, report to the, the nurse's, nurse's office, office please. please. Again, Stacy Mitchell, Mitchell, report to the, the nurse's, nurse's office. office. Thank, Thank you. I wonder what they want this time. What you all want? I was in class doing my work. First of all, Miss Mitchell, cut the attitude. And second, Christina Gibson here told us about catching lice from you when she went swimming at Tyndale Tide. Care to explain that? 
Principal Moonlight, I have zero idea what you are even talking about. We are not playing around Ms. Mitchell. We are being serious. Yeah, let me see your hair. You stay away from my hair. Do not come near me. You let go of me. Yep. That's Lisa all right. You are in big trouble young lady. You will stay right here while your parents are notified about this. And now we also have to make sure you didn't give other students slice as well. And let this be a lesson for you Miss Mitchell. That what happens in the dark always come to light. It turns out Stacy would be the next troublemaker. I think this girl has lost her mind. She needs to wake up and smell the roses. You really need to change your ways. And you better do it fast. Because who's gonna put up with this garbage? I am going to be tougher. And meaner than ever before. Stacy, you better watch your back. Next on back in session. Is something on your mind Mimi? I'm starting to feel like I'm never wanting to be friends with Jessica K anymore. After what happened at the party, I can understand that. It would suck if that did happen. You two were so close as friends and then just like that it all fell apart. Carly, what do you need? This isn't the best time. You know how Jessica Kay and Mimi had their falling out at the party? Well I found video evidence that might be able to help. Well that was a quick call. Mimi where are you? We need to talk. Mimi I don't want any trouble. I just want to talk. This has nothing to do with school. Bitch I swear I'm gonna punch you if you don't leave my campus. You're clearly asking for it now. Jace always tells us, don't ever make Principal Moonlight angry. You wouldn't like it when she's angry. Your girlfriend needs to get out of my face. That's the key.